In this video, we will talk about the Fibonacci level retracement in the MT5 in the iOS system. By the way, to add indicators or uh, tools like Fibonacci retracement levels in MT4 is not different than MT5. It's almost the same. The difference is between setting a trade. We will talk about later about this, but now we will see how to add and edit and customize your Fibonacci level in the MT5 of iOS system of your iPhone app. So, as we see here, here is the quote and here is the chart. Let's take another chart like Euro dollar chart. Okay, and this is the time frame here is 15 minutes. I'm trying to find a chart which is good with the, which will be more clear for the Fibonacci level. Okay. Okay, so in this case, we go to add objects. We can choose. Fibonacci retracement then this is the this is the uptrend and this is look like the correction so we can make this lines and this is the level so as we see in the retracement the, the concept of Fibonacci level that it's kind of support or resistance of level that can help us and take a decision when could be re-enter for buying or for long or short trade so here as we see now we can customize it on properties we click in the in the fibonacci line then we can click on a click in a properties then as we see here this is the name point and uh, i will make it rewrite re so will be more clear and the levels here so we have zero level 23.6 and 61.8 i will add additional level which is important in our case which is 78.6 so add level 0 0.786 in the description i will call him 78.6 and i will make done so here is the here is the Fibonacci level as we see in the pound yen in the pound dollar sorry in the pound dollar we see the the Fibonacci level retracement 23 so the correction if it's correction of this uptrend the it's it's past the 23 and also break the 38.2 50 61 and also almost at 78.6 so maybe it's a chance to to go to make um, a buying or a long trade for in this case okay so i will make just example like this i will edit the trade size and let's go for buy of course the the trade opened yes this is the the new one and we can apply this for other chart this is australia dollar you can see I zoom in zoom out It's a very strong downtrend here in this case. So in this case, we have a downtrend, a very strong movement below in this case in the australia dollar 
and in case we see going up for example till the 61.8 then it could be a good chance to go short okay this is what can help us if we notice that this price just break the 78.6 strong then it could be a chance for going and uh, for a longer trade for buying the australian dollar if we can going to shorter time frame yeah it's now going up if we see just kind of movement this is the use of fibonacci level if we i will just you see how you can use if we see kind of uh, movement uh, breaking all this line then the price will go up very potential there and if we see just a returning in specific level like uh, 50 or 61.8 then it's a chance to go short this is the use of Fibonacci retracement in general um, also you can by clicking in properties you can see uh, you can set the levels as we talk about 23 i just um, i just see this the the extra levels of this uh, because we talk about the trend strategy and resistance or correction so i believe in the levels from uh, from uh, is zero to from 23.6 till 70 78.6 more than this uh, and i don't believe that will be really used in this case um and uh, that's it you can may rewrite re lift also all time frame and that's it thank you so much for this for watching this video thank you